It's mathematical fiction. Welcome to Real Physics. Loop quantum gravity is crap. Again, this is inspired by a wonderful video by Sabine Hossenfelder I wholeheartedly agree with, but I should say I have said this for a long time in my video Derek's way to quantum gravity and why anything else is crap. No, it's however good to spell it out precisely this corollary that also loop quantum gravity is nonsense, but let's have a look at the general problem here. If you have, this is a Google search on books on quantum gravity and gosh, I mean, if so many books are written that tells you already something, if you have settled science, you explain it and that's it. But so many ideas floating around means the problem is not understood, is not solvable and there is no progress at all. So I already described this in my book and quoted the editor of a renowned Polish physics journal. He said, it is tempting to assume that when so many people write about quantum gravity, they must know what they are writing about. Nonetheless, everyone will agree that there is not a single physical phenomenon whose explanation would call for quantum gravity. And uh, I had also a chapter, a brief history of quantum gravity, and I quoted Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Many hammer all over the wall and believe that with each blow they hit the nail on the head. That's the pretty well describes the activity what is going on in the field of quantum gravity, one of the attempts being loop quantum gravity. And incidentally, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe is born in Frankfurt, the hometown also of Sabine Hossenfelder. And I guess, well, in the internet age, you have to be a little bit more outspoken. So let's enjoy the modern version of German poetry here of Sabine Hossenfelder. Because for decades, there have been two different schools of thought in the field of loop quantum gravity, one of which, represented most prominently by Lee Smolin, has insisted that the theory can be tested with upcoming experiments. The other, represented by Carlo Rovelli, is fine with the theory being untestable for practical purposes. That's practical. As Wolfgang Pauli said, it's either wrong or not even wrong. I mean, not even science. But let's continue. It's exactly the same crap as with string theory and supersymmetry and inflation and dark sectors and many other research bubbles in the foundations of physics. It's mathematical fiction. It's nothing to do with reality anymore. I don't understand why people get paid for doing this. Absolutely love it. Couldn't agree more. And there are many topics we should talk about in the future, many absurdities in science. But I think there is one point I should comment here. I think she gives even too much credit to the camp that had claimed there would be a possibility to test loop quantum gravity. Because these people were talking about a violation of Lorentz invariance. She talks here about C not being constant. By the way, that has nothing to do with variable speed of light attempts initiated by Einstein in 1911. I talked a lot about uh, this stuff had nothing to do here with. Violation of Lorentz invariance in that case of loop quantum gravity was the so-called prediction that different colors could move at different speeds. Okay, but physics is quantitative. Give me a prediction. It was Newton who said that God created everything with number, weight and measure. So come up with something serious, quantitative and not just, oh, there could be a deviation. It's the same absurd game as, for instance, in supersymmetry, predicting that there is a new particle, we just don't know the mass and then you exclude all possible masses and then they just squeeze out of the experimental pressure saying that oh the particle could have a higher mass and in the same manner these guys predict some violation and there could be a difference in speed of different colors and then you're going to test it and of course you see nothing but you have always the excuse oh the effect could be tinier than when we predicted let's create a new version of our wonderful theory and so on and so forth unfortunately that's how science sometimes proceeds, so to speak. And I described that also in my book, talking about string theory, 
Another sport practiced in string theory or loop quantum gravity here is predicting violations. In this game you take any good theory, special relativity, loss of energy conservation or whatever, in that case constancy of C with respect to the different colors, and any deviation from it, no matter what, where and how, is deemed to be a triumph for the theory. Again, we note that religion starts where science ends. And well, you can also say vultures hovering over that theory are not yet a prediction. Yeah, unfortunately, science is really sick in this respect. And I described this also in my flip chart, theoretical physics to take off to fantasy. Strings and loops are practically useless, as Sabine Hossenfeller said equally. And the only difference is that loop uh, proponents like Lee Smolin used to criticize string theory justifiably so, and strings just ignored the loop community. Also for good reason, one must say. Unfortunately, the game just continued and for a couple of years, I must say, I was quite hopeless that this situation, these absurdities of theoretical physics would ever end. And because you have so many absurd mechanisms here, it seemed the only thing you could do is mock about all of that. But recently I have regained some hope because I guess really with the upcoming artificial intelligence, we might see a collapse of these unfounded buildings of fundamental physics and all the and also collapse of all this pointless academic environment. As also emphasized by Eric Weinstein, I'm on board with him in this respect. And well, let's not forget, the problem is a serious one. It's something really unsolved behind there. And it seems to be, unfortunately, that quantum physics and relativity is really kind of incompatible as it is phrased today. And there is some serious problem behind. And I made some videos on that, why it's not easy to unify quantum theory and relativity. And if you want to dig really into the problems, I guess I have, I don't claim I have a theory, but I guess I have identified where the problem is, why so many attempts have had zero result so far. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.